my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are on the sixth Sunday of the Lenten season and we celebrate the Feast of Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday marks the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem towards the end of his life. With this, we enter the Holy Week, which will culminate in the Passion, Death and Resurrection of Jesus. Therefore, Palm Sunday is also known as Passion Sunday. Let us reflect the significance of this feast for our Christian life. First, the two names, Palm Sunday and Passion Sunday, tells us that human life consists of both joys and sorrows. Palm Sunday stands for the joys and victories in life, and Passion Sunday stands for the pain, sufferings, and defeats in life. Indeed, life is made of joys and sorrows, and it is these joys and sorrows that makes life beautiful. It's like the two sides of the same coins. So when we are happy, we should not be over elated. And when we are sad, we should not be overwhelmed by our sadness. We need to strike balance with the joys and sorrow of our life and make life meaningful, beautiful. Jesus actually never wanted to be known as Messiah King or Kingly Messiah. In John's Gospel, after the multiplication of the bread, when they wanted to make him king, he escaped quietly. But towards the end of his life, he allowed people to recognize him as king because he was truly a king and he wants to live as the message that he is the king who suffered and died for us, who died to save us. The people were elated to have him asking and they cried out, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna is a song of praise, a word of praise. In Hebrew, Hosea Anna means, save us, O Lord, we pray. Save us, we pray. So the praise is actually asking God to save us. Therefore, whenever we praise God, we are asking God to save us. And when we ask God to save us, we are praising God as well. Then we have got the Passion Narrative, which speaks of the anointing of Jesus, his last supper with his disciples, his prayer, betrayal, then his accusation, false witness, rejection, being beaten, and finally his crucifixion, death, and burial. If you observe the end of the life of Jesus, it is totally anti-climax. It was not a perfect life. But through this, Jesus wants to teach us a big lesson that human life is not perfect. A small boy or a student wants to complete his study and get a job. After getting a job, he also wants to settle in life, then have children. After having children, want to have grandchildren. After being bothered with grandchildren and family affairs, he wants peaceful retirement. And after retirement, there still remains emptiness. So life is not perfect. And that is what Jesus wants to show us. Life is not perfect. So we have to have faith in our perfect God, 
whose love will make our imperfections perfect, who will feel our weaknesses and give meaning to our life. Therefore, in life, what we need is faith in God, who will fill us with his love so that our weakness, our sinfulness, our failures will become meaningful as well. Let us pray for one another during this Lent, uh, during Holy Week, that we may increase in faith and realize the true meaning of our life and existence in faith, hope, and love. God bless.